Konnichiwa. Uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Um, thank you very much for coming. It is an honor to be here in the home of the martial arts to stand in front of you and present Glory and also present our upcoming event in Tokyo in December. So no country in the world can compare to Japan's stature in the history of the martial arts. And so Japan occupies a focal place both in our hearts and in our plans. So first, I'd like to introduce myself uh, and say a few words about where I'm coming from. I'm not from the fight industry. I have a financial background. I was a trader for banks such as Goldman Sachs and Bank of America, and I worked in Singapore and London. In 2008, I started a hedge fund in London called Blue Gold Capital, um, and I was the chief investment officer and the major shareholder, and it ended up being like a very good success. Um, I managed at peak um, $2.4 billion under management, and the returns over its four-year history was over 250%, which made it the, the, the best track record of any hedge fund during that period. I think the potential of the sport has never been fully exploited. No other combat sport in the world comes close in terms of the level of excitement that brews at the heart of a very high-level kickboxing competition with beautiful, explosive, and fast-paced constant action. This is why I teamed up with Total Sports Asia, which is a leading sports media and marketing company based in Kuala Lumpur, to create a new fighting sports brand called Glory with a mission to showcase the heart of kickboxing and bring it to back to the, its glorious heritage. So what am I doing at Glory? Uh, well, I am the majority investor and I'm chairman of the board of directors of Glory Sports International, which is a parent company of Glory. Glory Sports International is a well-funded company with over $30 million of clean capital committed to the project. I have defined the vision and assembled the team and made, made up of real professionals from the media, sports, and financial industry. I also helped to put in place the wide corporate governance, control systems, and ethics of the company. So I oversee, I oversee the company and I, have, I am involved in all the strategic decisions. Obviously, we, we thought it was very important to bring the top people from the fight industry as well to help us, and so we have brought in a highly experienced team, um, like such as people from the Golden Glory team, such as Bas Boone, Cor Hemers, and Martin De Jong. Um, they have the knowledge, experience, and contacts to work with the stars of today and create the talents of the future. They are also complemented by the top-level production team led by Simon Roots, and by fighters that we contracted when we bought the East Showtime organization earlier this year in June. So we have signed and secured over 90% of the best fighters in the world at the moment, most of them being exclusive to Glory. I am glad and honored that superstars such as Semi Shield, Remy Boniaski, Peter Hertz, and Jerome Le Banner chose to sign with us over other organizations. And I think it says a lot about us as an organization. Um, they have the best pedigree in kickboxing, and they require no introduction. So you must be wondering about you know, the different weight class that uh, we will use. You know, in the past, the, key, the two king weight classes were 70 kilos and heavy weight, which is above 95 kilos. Um, we think there's an opportunity to, to bring a few different uh, weight classes. So we decided to come, come out with six different weight classes, 65 kilos, 70 kilos, 77 kilos, 85 kilos, 95 kilos, and heavy weight. That way we will have many more faces, a lot more talent from everywhere in the world, a lot more fights, um, and I think it's an opportunity for, it gives an opportunity for fighters of every weight category. And I do believe new stars will emerge. So concerning the format of the future events, there will be one tournament per weight category per year. So um, for the two king, king weight categories, so 70 kilos and heavy weight, there will be one, what we call a Grand Slam tournament per year. Uh, what we call a Grand Slam tournament is a 16-man tournament 
uh, which is the format that we will bring on December uh, with the heavyweights. Um, and so we do that for 70 kilos and heavyweights. For all the other weight categories, we will do a slam tournament, which is a, what we call slam is an eight-man tournament. Um, so all these cards, uh, all these tournaments will also feature um, single fights. So like around six, six, between four and seven single fights per event. Um, we will also have single fight events. Um, and we expect to do around you know, a bit more than 40 shows next year. So we will also have a series of local events design, designed, uh, which we call a road to glory. Um, to find new talent for the premier glory events. So we are going to launch that next year um, in the USA and Japan. So glory events will be spread out between Asia, Europe, and the Americas. For the first time in the history of the sport, glory is implementing a point system that will rank all of our fighters. So that's a key point. It's uh, I don't you know, no fighting organization in different fight like in, in boxing or kickboxing or MMA ever did that. Um, it will be an automatic, mathematically calculated ranking, depending on tournaments and single fight results. So you will not only know the number one and two fighters in each weight categories, but you will, you will know each fighter after that as well, like the, the ranking. Uh, so it's a bit like in tennis, uh, ranking all glory fighters. So the Grand Slam that we are bringing to Tokyo is a new format, which we think will be very, very exciting. There will be shorter fights, and there will be many more faces. I, will, I would like to thank uh, G Entertainment, our local partner, for putting on such a great press conference and for supporting our efforts in the country. So now I would like to introduce you to Marcus, who, who is the managing director of Global Sport, uh, sorry, <laughs> Glory Sports International, and the CEO of Total Sports Asia to say a few more words about Glory and to explain the up upcoming event in more details. Many thanks for your attention. Aligato uh, gozaimasu. Ladies and gentlemen and uh, members of the press, uh, welcome this morning to uh, our Glory press conference. Uh, always good to see everyone here. Yes, it will feature 16 of the world's best heavyweights, and many of them are former champions and legends in their own right, and fighters you've seen fight in Japan many times before. We have superstars like Semi Shield, Peter Ertz, Remy Bonyatsky, Jerome Labana, which have all been very well known to you here and have been in this country many, many times. I think she jumped ahead a bit, but uh, yes, we do have other stars as well in here, um, not just the ones I just mentioned, but we do have Gokan Saki, Errol Zimmerman, Seiji Karatonov, again, big names, which, uh, which fill up our you know, amazing roster of 16 fighters. Yeah. And again, it doesn't stop here. We, we have some very exciting young and up-and-coming fighters coming as well. Uh, and just to share some of the names with you, we have Andres Braddock Silva, we have Jonathan Denise, Jamal Ben Sidik, Philip Verlinden, Rhys Gudion, and Igor Djokovic, uh, which pretty much represent every corner of the world. So, as Pierre said earlier, we, we truly believe Glory is the World Cup of kickboxing. Uh, and this lineup of fighters, and these are just the top 13 which I've just mentioned, uh, clearly represents this. Yes, as, as you might have heard already, uh, the, our Glory Grand Slam format is a new format which we truly believe will change the face of kickboxing and the way you've ever witnessed a kickboxing event. Just to give you, an, uh, you, know, give you a feel of how this actually will look like. Um, we will start with 16 fighters in the, in the uh, process. I think you can see, yeah, you can see it up there. Um, the 16 fighters will be ranked based on, all, on the ranking which Pierre mentioned earlier. And so the top four fighters will actually be seated. So uh, let me just run this video so, and then I'll stop it in between to give you some heads. So the first four will be preceded based on the uh, existing ranking at that point in time. So the ranking will be released. Uh, in a few months, uh, just closer to the tournament. Top four, sorry, yeah. So the top four will be seated similar to, uh, to other international you know, events uh, where the number one is on the top, number two on the bottom, and then three and four in the middle. Yeah, I'm going to off the script, so I think she will struggle now. But uh, in addition then, we have four fighters who will be then put into a pole, and into a bowl, 
uh, and we will randomly select these four fighters in the next seated positions. So they're not automatically seated, but there is a seating for position number five to eight, where those four fighters, which are ranked number five to number eight in the glory ranking, will then be positioned. So that looks good like this. The remaining eight, meaning from ranking number nine to 16 then, will be also put into a bowl and then randomly selected, starting with the first draw pulled out of the bowl, will be seated against the number, will be fighting against the number one seat, and then we'll go down the list. So this will look a bit like this. So up to the first round, the quarterfinal and the semifinal, that we changed the rules. Um, and we felt it's important because it's a much longer tournament uh, in principle than, uh, than what, what fighters have seen before. So by changing the rules um, and giving fighters a chance to come faster through the tournament, we eventually actually end up with a similar timing as you would see in a final eight format. So the difference is in our first three rounds, we have fights which are only two minutes long each. That's the big difference rather than the regular three minutes. And the other difference is that we fight a best of three format. What that means, if a fighter wins the first two rounds, he does not have to find the third round and will automatically advance to the next round. So he can beat, he can win on points the, or, or by knockout in the first two rounds. He will not obviously then have to go and fight the remaining rounds. Our, our scoring system is an open system. So the fighters will know the score of each round. The audience in the, in the uh, arena, the audience, the fans on TV will see it. So there's no uh, you know, hiding anymore. You know whether you're ahead, you know whether you're behind, and you know what you have to do. So it'll be very, very exciting, extremely fast-paced, two-minute rounds um, in the beginning of the tournament. So the fighter who will win this can truly call himself the heavyweight world champion of the world, no doubt, and will be a landmark in, this, in the history of the sport. So all I can do now is invite you and come and join us on December 2nd at the Makahuri uh, Arena Stadium the, um, here in Tokyo at the spiritual home of the sport. We're extremely excited to be back here and now it's up to us to make this show happen. First of all, let me welcome on stage our glory heavyweight world champion, Mr. Sammy Shield. System. I think uh, Glory make, uh, make a, a very good uh, design with the new system because uh, for me personally it's more like a karate style and I like it very much so I like to fight more rounds uh, uh, so I'm very, uh, I'm very happy about this new system. Peter, um, there's a lot of fighters who are going to be in here and uh, who are you keeping your eye on? I don't know who I can fight in the tournament, but I don't care, you know. I want to fight with the greatest fighters, so I'm happy I'm here. And ready? Who's going to win? Who's going to win? Of course, I want to say hi uh, to everyone. Uh, I'm, back to, uh, I'm back in Japan. And it's great over here, but this new format, you can never say who's going to win. It's, uh, it's a big gamble, and we have all strong fighters in this tournament, so the best will win, and we'll see what's going to happen in uh, December. Glory for Tokyo!